Adding the ultimate number plugin. Log in to your WordPress. Go to the left hand side panel to plugins and type in ultimate member. The first one that comes up is the ultimate member user profile, user registration, login, and membership plugin. Install now. Activate. Ultimate number, member needs to create several pages. You cannot skip this part. You need to create pages. You will see general pages. Make sure you have your user page, your login page, your register page, your members page, your logout page, your account page, and your password reset. And then you would save the changes. Access. Site is accessible to everyone. Site is accessible to logged in users. Restricted content. Here is a restricted message. Oops. Wrong way. Enable the content restriction settings for the Gutenberg blocks. And restricted block message. Oops. Nope. Enable the content restriction settings for the post types, post or page media. Enable the content restriction settings for the ta uh, taxonomies, category, and tag. And then save your changes. Setting up the email. Here you can turn the email notifications on or off. Here you can turn the emails on or off simply by clicking into this gear on the right. As here it is Welcome to the site name, name. Thank you for signing up. Your account is now active. Okay. And then it's always save your changes. Go through each one of these and see which ones you want turned on, which ones you want turned off. You can turn on the account deactivated uh, email, account deleted email, password reset email, password changed email, account updated email, new user notification. And here is your admin email. This is the site name. This is the address. And you can also use HTML for emails. So I could go admin at and then save the changes. appearance, your default, your profile def, uh, default template, and you only have your default template with the free plugin, your profile maximum width, 
a thousand pixels, your profile area maximum width 600 pixels. Profile uh, field icons show with the label, show inside the text field or turn off. Show with label. Your profile primary button text update profile, your profile secondary text. If you choose to use it, you just click on this plus and here it says cancel. Default profile photo and you can select one. Default cover photo, you can select one. Disable profile photo upload and the profile photo size. 190 by 190 pixels, or you could go 80 by 80 or 40 by 40. This is just the largest. Profile cover photos, profile cover size 300 pixels, and the, co the profile cover ratio is 2.7 uh, colon. Um, you could also make the profile cover this is the largest area that it will cover. This is the, the second largest. No, this is the largest area. This is the second largest, the third, and the fourth. Profile header, uh, header meta text icon. And you can click on, on the check mark to save that. Show display name in profile header. Show social links in profile header. Show user description in header. Enable HTML support for user description. User description maximum. It says 180, but we're going to go with 300. Show a custom message if profile is empty. Show the emoticon. So we're just going to show the emoticon. And then save changes. If you are following along with me, if I'm going too fast and you need to, you have some questions you would like to ask, just leave them in the comment section of this video. Miscellaneous. Show an asterisk for required fields. User profile title is a display name and then the site name. The user profile dynamic meta description is the display name, site name, join site name to view display name and profile. You can disable the cache for your user profile if you need to save space. You, en you can enable the Gutenberg blocks. There's ultimate member Gutenberg blocks that you can enable. And here it says the, uh, the REST AP version, and you want to make sure you have the latest version. Disable pre-queries uh, for restriction content logic advanced. Enable custom table for user meta. And remove data on install and change save changes. Under the general, we've already gone through the pages. Let's look at the users. Okay, so the profile permalink base. Here you can control the permalink structure of the user profile. So this will go by username. You can also go by first, first and last name, first and last name, first and last name, or user ID. So we're just going to go with the username, Dis user display name, first and last name, and you have quite a selection, and I just usually like nickname. Automatically redirect author page to their profile, yes. Enable members directory, yes. Use gravatars, yes. Use default plugin avatar for the Gravatar, yes. Require a strong password when user resets password only. You can choose yes or you can just leave it blank. Password minimum length is 6 and the maximum length is 20. Avoid indexing profile by search engines. It hides the profile page for robots and you can choose no or you can choose yes. 
activation link lifetime. <clears throat> How long does an activation link live in seconds? Leave empty for endless links. Just going to leave that empty and then save changes. Account. Okay, so you want your password account tab. This will enable or disable the password account tab. So you want that checked, yes. Privacy account tab, checked, yes. Notifications account tab, checked, yes. Delete account tab, checked, yes. Account deletion custom text, and you can change that. Account deletion without password custom text. This is a custom text that will display to users before they delete from your site when password isn't required. Okay, so just say password is not required. Add a first and last name field, yes. You can also disable the first and last name field if you don't choose to use the, the, the uh, the last name, the first and last name. Allow users to change email. Password is required. Yes. Require a strong password. Yeah, it's not really necessary. Allow users to hide their profile from the directory. No. And then save changes. And uploads. Uploads is important. Your uploads will determine the size, profile photo maximum size in bytes. I usually just leave these as they are. And then profile photo thumbnail sizes 40, 80, 190. Cover sizes 300, 600. You can change the image orientation. Image quality is usually 60. Image upload width is, you go with 1280. And that is for the image upload width. The cover photo minimum width. Let's go with 1000 and then save changes. So this part is all set up now. When you go into your ultimate member and you look at the forms, you can see your default reg registration, your default login, and your default profile. These are your forms that are there. I will be doing a video on creating other forms as well. And then you look at your user roles. And here are your different user roles. Subscriber, search engine optimization manager, search engine optimization editor, editor, contributor, author, and administrator. And I will also be doing a video, updating the video on the user roles. So now the next thing that you do is you go to your menu, your menus, because now you have to create a menu for your membership. and to create a new menu. Menu name. And then create the menu.
Now you want to find your pages from the ultimate member. Here they are here. You want to add all of your pages. Your account. Oops. Oops. Account. Log in, log out, members, register, user, and password reset. And you want to add those to your menu and set them up the way that you would like to see them. Now, in creating your menu, you want to register so who can see this menu. You want everybody to see this menu. For the login, you want logged out users or logged in users or everyone. For the account, you want logged out users, logged in users, or everyone. Logged in users. You can select the members' roles that can see this these links. For the user. You also want the logged in users. We're just gonna and select the members' roles that can see these links. Passwords reset can be everyone. The log out is for the logged in users and select the roles. Now the roles you select will be based on what your own preferences are. I'm just selecting all the roles. And for the members, you can choose everyone logged in or logged out. So we're just going to go with everyone. Okay. So we're just going to put this in display location as a header and we're going to save the menu. Find the link in the description, become a member, choose your username, your first name, your last name, your email address, a password confirm your password and choose register
upload a photo. Upload a cover photo. And add some information. Update your profile. And there you have your membership site. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. This video was created to replace the ultimate member video that was done in 2020. I hope that this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening. If you are interested in becoming a member of the DIY affiliate uh, best Bitcoin affiliate programs.com then just go to the link in the description and join.